Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangs, and today I welcome you guys to yet another Fire Emblem character spotlights. The tallest characters are probably the least represented ones on my channel, and thankfully, one of my Silver Tier Patreons, Frozen Wolf, decided to do something about it by requesting this spotlight of everyone's favorite wolf boy, Volug. Volug hails from the lost continent of Atari, east of Dane, home to the Wolf Lagoose. He is the retainer of Nyla, queen of Atari. We know precious little about his backstory and upbringing, as Radiant Dawn does not feature traditional support conversations. And because Volug's dialogue is very limited in the game itself, he doesn't get much screen time to develop his character. Volug first enters the story as Micaiah meets Nyla and Raphael in the Desert of Death on their quest to find Prince Peleus. After listening to Micaiah's story, Nyla decides to send Volug with her on her quest to serve as her bodyguard. But since they are traveling through Dane, a country that doesn't think very highly of the Lagoose, Volug uses his unique ability to shapeshift into a dog to attract less attention to himself. From that point on, Volug accompanies Micaiah throughout her entire journey, not once leaving her side. After the events of Radiant Dawn, he merely returns home to his country of Hatari, living out the rest of his days either as Nyla's retainer, or if Nelia fails to survive the war, he returns home to tell everyone of her role in the Great War, as well as her hopes and visions, hoping to one day migrate the whole nation away from the continents. Volug is a young Lagoose male with a tribal, feral appearance, revealing his wolf heritage. He has purple eyes, black hair that goes down to his neck, and sun-tanned skin with markings that resemble tattoos. He wears a collar and a tribal necklace with teeth, and his outfit resembles that of a nomad, with baggy brown and white pants and slippers. He has an extremely athletic build and is considered very handsome by most people. In his Lagoose form, he is a wolf with grey and brown fur, with the color he wears in his human form still visible. As with a lot of Radiant Dawn's cast, Volug's personality is rather undeveloped, due to supports not being present in the game. The little dialogue he does have is all in the ancient Lagoose language. However, it is possible to translate the language and learn what Volug and some of the other Lagoose are actually saying. In the few conversations he has, he is shown to be a sharp individual, with a dark but witty sense of humor, as he jokes about eating birk and how bad they taste, and remarking how hard it is to be charming when you never say anything. For the most part, however, Volug prefers to stay silently in the background. He is shown to be extremely loyal to his Queen Nyla, following her orders to the best of his ability. Volug first joins your party in Chapter 5 of Part 1, and he will be the first Lagoose-type character available to the player. However, unlike other Lagoose, Volug acts very differently due to his Wild Heart skill, which allows him to stay transformed indefinitely, but at the cost of lowering his transformed bonuses from double of his original down to only plus 50%. Due to a translation error, this skill claims that Volug's experience gains is cut in half while this skill is equipped, but this is actually not true at all. Because of his high level, he will gain experience very slowly compared to the other characters, but this is not due to the skill itself. In part 1, Wild Heart cannot be unequipped, and Volug is forced to use it. From part 3 and onwards, however, this skill can be unequipped, and it is highly recommended you do so, as Volug really needs the extra stats. Volug will be of immense help to you in part 1, as he will be able to one round most enemies he goes up against. He has extremely solid base stats for his join time, and the only real threat to his safety is fire magic. Still, thanks to his very solid 49 hit points, he can survive a few blasts from fire mages without dying, and thanks to his high movement, he can easily close the gap between them and take them down, sometimes in a single hit. While he cannot attack or retaliate from a distance, Volug's Howl skill makes up for that weakness somewhat by giving him a strength percentage chance to paralyze any ranged attacker. While this isn't something you can rely on, it does help a little bit if he gets swarmed by ranged attackers trying to bring him down. In the growth rate department, Volug sports amazing hit points and luck, average speed, and very low strength skill defense and resistance. In general, Volug himself won't grow incredibly well on his own, and you'll need to rely on bonus experience to make him viable in the endgame. His high base stats will carry him through part 1 easily enough, but you will notice him falling behind the other Lagoose characters later on in the game. 
Volug does possess the extremely useful Earth Affinity, which is considered one of the best in the game, thanks to its insane bonus to avoidance. This makes Volug a rather good supporting unit on the front lines, as he can really beef up the avoidance of nearby allies, especially considering Radiant Dawn is so very flexible with its support system. At the end of the day, Volug may not be one of the most viable units in Radiant Dawn, he will most likely be of great help in Part 1, where he will easily be one of your strongest units, but sadly he will fall behind the other Lagoos from Part 3 and onwards due to his lackluster growths. While he certainly can help this out with bonus experience and stat boosters, he really isn't the best candidate for the endgame, especially not when competing against the insanely powerful Lagoos Royals. Still, if you really want to use him, if nothing but for his sexy abs, he can, as with most of the Radiant Dawn characters be made usable. Just keep him far away from enemy fire mages and he should hopefully serve you quite well. Thank you for watching this Fire Emblem character spotlight. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment, it really helps out the channel a lot. I would like to give a shout out to Frozen Wolf, who requested this spotlight as his silver tier reward, alongside this drawing. By visiting my page and becoming a silver tier patron yourself, you too can request a spotlight and a drawing. I would also like to thank my other Patreon supporters as well. Anyone of bronze tier or higher will automatically be listed at the end of my spotlights and certain other videos. I am very grateful for your continued support, thank you so much. The beautiful art and design you see created in this video was made by my designer Mina Tangerina, and my script editors Nasiro and Sonagi helped me fine tune the script for the spotlight. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Vin Mengs, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye!